In a new book, Katie Couric admits that she previously chose to not report some of the comments that the late Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg had made in regard to Colin Kaepernick. So in her book titled Going There, Couric reportedly writes that she was conflicted after Ruth Bader Ginsburg during a 2016 interview had criticized Colin Kaepernick and other athletes who protested racial justice that year. Injustice. Injustice, I'm sorry, racial injustice that year. Couric made the decision to cut the justices comments from the final piece she wrote for Yahoo News. And here's what Ginsburg had said during that interview. Couric wrote that Ginsburg said that the protest showed contempt for a government that has made it possible for their parents and grandparents to live a decent life. Which they probably could not have lived in the places they came from. As they became older, they realized that this was youthful folly. Couric quoted Ginsburg as saying, and that's why education is important. Look, it's not, especially someone who's a journalist, right? Katie Couric is supposed to be a straight news journalist. It's not her job to provide cover for anyone, including people we like. Obviously, we were very supportive of Supreme Court Justice Ginsburg, but nonetheless, a journalist shouldn't withhold information from the public. Yeah, so it could have led to a more wholesome conversation about it. I don't mean as in clean, I mean as in fuller. And and that was in the height of the Kaepernick controversy. And would it have been taken by the right wing and and celebrated? Yes. And would it have created a controversy? Yes. Would it have hurt Ruth Bader Ginsburg's reputation? Yes. Um, she says she didn't want to do it because of that reason. Well, you put it in your book. Yeah, seriously. Like I don't so really apparently understand that. when you're going to make a good money from it, it's okay to hurt RBG's reputation. Yeah. But when you were just doing a, a interview, it wasn't okay. So that's not good journalism. That's just that's obvious. We don't have to discuss that any further. In terms of RBG's opinion. Look, it's misinformed. Just because you agree with somebody overall or you've liked them in the past doesn't mean you have to agree with everything they say now, Dave Chappelle. Um, so I like Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I didn't agree with all of her decisions. It's not mandatory. You don't have to think like the partisans in Washington. You're allowed to be a human being who disagrees with folks at different times. I don't know if it was because she was older that she made what I think is a mistake or some people could have talked her out of it. She had admitted later that she was not informed. In fact, let me get to that graphic now. Days after that 2016 interview, Ginsburg walked back her comments saying in a statement that she had been barely aware of the protests or their purpose and that her comments were inappropriately dismissive and harsh and she should not have or she should have declined to respond. So she weighed in on something that she wasn't fully aware or, or informed about. She realized that, walked the comments back. And look, my takeaway from all of them, well, two takeaways. Number one, I, I've already expressed, journalists are not supposed to do activism or provide cover for figures they like, right? That's not Katie Kirk's job. Katie Kirk's job as a journalist is to share with the audience what she has gathered in her you know, research, in the interviews that she's doing. And she did the opposite in this regard, and that was really bad judgment. The other takeaway is, and I hope that people can start thinking this way in regard to everyone. There's no such thing as like a pure, perfect person. Everyone, okay, the people you love the most, are flawed human beings. Humans are flawed. Sometimes they have great takes, sometimes they do great things, sometimes they do awful things and they think awful things. And that's fine, that's part of being a human. We're like in this culture right now where someone messes up, right? Inevitably, we all mess up and then all of a sudden it's like, this is the worst person in the world, now they're bad. Like, let's stop having this childish black and white thinking on others. Let's give people a little more space. Let's be a little more compassionate and understanding. And this isn't just about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, this is about everyone, right? I just, I hate that black and white thinking. Yeah, so first on, last thing on Ginsburg, then I wanna go back to the point you just made. Um, look, she's, she's a, a great historic figure overall. Uh, and she's totally wrong about this initially. Look, when, when they uh, 
put out those comments about what she really thinks later. Uh, even after the interview, people from the court called Couric from uh, Ginsburg's team and, and asked her, don't put that in, because they knew it was bad. So they're doing damage control. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Ginsburg actually thought and what her people realize she should think publicly. Okay, I'm gonna keep it real on that too. And and if she thought that it was the right thing to say, she's dead wrong. She said, uh, you know, which they probably could not have lived in places they came from that Anna read you, right? Well, no, wait, you're talking about yourself. So maybe your parents and grandparents came from uh, Eastern Europe or somewhere along those lines yeah. and they uh, might not have had the same freedoms under the Soviet Union, for example, or under the Nazis, obviously, obviously, right? But Colin Kaepernick's parents didn't come from there. And and if you're black in this country, your parents, grandparents, and all the way down to your ancestors, obviously not your parents and grandparents, but your ancestors were brought here and they were brought here in chains. So it's apples and oranges mm -hmm. and so that comment makes no sense. And protesting against police abuse of black Americans is the most American thing you could do, freedom of speech about a worthy cause. And I think anyone who says they should not do that is at best ignorant. And I don't care that it's Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is otherwise great on issues. And and so finally on, on Anna's point about nobody's perfect. Look, I, I'm so flawed, uh, I changed my mind a great number of times. That means I disagree with my earlier position. My earlier position was wrong. I'd like to think that I had the courage to change it. Instead of being so worried about my ego and insecurities that I was like, no, 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 I'm always right because I'm a big guy and I'm important. No, when I'm wrong, I say it, it's not that hard. And But people like Dave Chappelle, I think he's an incredible comedian and, I, and we talked about it on the show the other day. And you don't have to hate him to say he's wrong on the trans issue, okay? And, you, and just because you thought he was great in the past, doesn't mean you have to agree with him on the trans issue and go, oh, okay, then don't question him, don't question him. If you question him, it's canceling him. No, he's totally wrong on the trans issue, a hundred percent wrong. That doesn't mean I hate him, that doesn't mean he needs to be fired, but it does mean he's wrong. So please use your own judgment and don't just don't fall into camps of I'm either pro Dave Chappelle or I'm anti Dave Chappelle. And by the way, the minute Dave Chappelle says something about racism, all those right wingers who are claiming to be fans of his will immediately turn around and go, oh, now I'm in the camp of I hate Dave Chappelle. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, people are just a lot more complicated than that and it is what it is. That's just the lazy thinking that I'm seeing all over the place. It's it's. Sad. There are a lot of great ways to watch the Young Turks, but is there a best way? Of course, the best way is to watch live. Tune in weekdays, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. You get our uncensored, unapologetic version of the news that you won't get anywhere else. Watch us live.